Okay, so in the last video we set up this right triangle that can be moved around to show at least how the squares move with the right triangle. We're going to enhance the construction in this video. First thing I'm going to do is help students realize this is a right triangle. So I click my angle tool and then I'm going to hover over and click on the center of my right triangle to automatically capture all the interior angles. Next thing I'm going to do is move my labels here so we can see them. And I'm just going to tighten this up a little bit. I just want, I don't need the names of the angles, just the values. So I open my object properties under each of the angles. I want to select all of them at once. I, I click angle, go to basic. And for label, all I need is the number, the value. So there we go. We close that. And this, I mean, what this points out immediately is that this is a right triangle, right? No matter how we enlarge it or reduce it, we create a right triangle. And that 90 holes in there. And I guess if you really want to clean this up a little bit more, what you can do is only highlight the right, the right angle. I mean, do we really need the angles for the other two? Probably not. So click those two, and this will, oops, this will automatically set up the right angle. So the only one I need is the last angle. These two, click those off. And this, I think this is yeah, it's a little bit neater. Next thing I'm going to use do is use my midpoint tool to set up the middle of each square by clicking opposite diagonals. And this allows me to get the midpoint of each square. Now I'm going to click my text tool and hover over those midpoints to attach the text. And I'm going to use my latex formula to show, right, x to the a. Or in this case, I'll make this one a squared, so it's a and then 2 squared. Notice it shows a squared. We'll do the same thing for each of these. Insert text over here. This will be b squared. Latex formula. And replace x with b and a with 2. So it says b squared. And then last c squared. And latex formula. There it is. Okay. And c squared. Okay. Now I want to, of course, tighten it up a little bit. I don't need to see J, K, and L. So under all my objects, I scroll to points, and I'm going to hide J, K, and L by clicking these dots. Oops, sorry. I want to show the dots. So I'll click for J, K, and L. I hold Control or, I guess, Command to select these three points. For each of them, I don't need to see the label. I just want to see the dots themselves. And now this is what I see, and you can either take those dots away or not, but now we have the text, and this looks a little bit nicer, right? So automatically I think we're setting up something that's already enhanced, but we're going to go a little bit further. Let me just fix this. Oops. Okay, so you can see that this looks a little bit neater already, but we want to show more. I think we should start to color code this. So we open up our object properties. And I, I guess, let me go back, the easiest way to do this is click the square, then Object Properties, it automatically selects it. And I'll keep it so it's blue for A squared. Click the next square, and then I'll make it red for B squared, and then green for C squared. And the triangle itself, let's make that a lighter color. There we go. And automatically, I think you can see how this has been enhanced, right? It looks nicer. Okay, so what's the next step? Well, we want to show that the areas of A squared and B squared equal C squared. So how do we do that? Well, I would first of all set up some simple text. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is show the side lengths of the triangle. So we have side length A for A squared. And that's this side length right here. And notice as you hover over it, it shows you where it is on this list over here. So look at that right there. You have segment. It shows you A1, which is BC of right triangle polygon, or segment C2. They're identical, the same thing. Um, I'm going to select A1 right there. And now I've created this dynamic text, right, which will match the side length of that triangle. So next thing I'm going to do is do that for B and then C. So let's do that. Click my text. Okay, B equals, hover over to find it, 
A2 over here. And then lastly, C equals, if we hover over this, we'll see it's equal to A3. And now we have the side lengths. But students might not make this connection. Where is A, B, and C? So you might want to add some text here to label A, B, and C. So I'm going to click now on the triangle on A1, Object Properties. And then under Basic, I'm going to list the caption. So side A, I'll put. And under Show Label, I'll just show the caption. And there it is, side A. And we might like the color there, because we made the triangle gray. So we'll change the color to match the, the blue we used before. Over here is our recent colors. There's side A. And then we'll do the same thing for this. So, I'm sorry, I'll find A2. Okay. Oops. Click A2. And then I want to use this red color here. That's my recent color. Under basic, I just want to show the captions at side B. Oops. Side B. Close that and see how it looks. Um, I don't like how it looks. I'm going to drag this over a little bit. And lastly, side C. So um, I know C is this right here. Object properties. Make sure the color matches the green. Okay, it's good. Basic, caption, side C. And then we have side A, B, and C. You can change the font so it, it looks the way you want to. But anyway, that's, that's fine for me. So side A, B, and C. It's up here. It's dynamic. It's working. Next thing you want to do is set up A squared, B squared, and C squared. So let's do that. So we'll click over here, go to our latex formula. I want this format, x to the a. So it's a squared. And what's that going to equal? Well, we want it to equal the area of the square, right? So we'll have it equal polygon two. And there it is. Automatically, it shows the area for that square. And you can test it. If we go to 3, it should give us 9. And you can see it's working. Something simple. 3. <laughs> 3. Well, you can see it, it pretty much works. 3 gives us 9 right there. So that's the area. But we, wanna, we might want to make this font a little bit larger. So under text, I would probably enlarge this a little bit. Uh, a little too large. Medium. There we go. Looks much nicer. So a squared is equal to 12.74. Let's do that for b squared. Dynamic text, click our text box over here. We want it to be in the format of x to the a. But now we're showing b squared. So b right, squared. And that's going to equal, just hover over it, this square right here, the third polygon. And then one last time for c squared, we go to our latex formula and then click right here. It's c to the a, or c squared, excuse me, equals this area of this square right here. Now we can use um, this nice tool, copy visual style, click this, and then click those to make them match um, in the font and bold size, however you have it. An easy way to show that a squared plus b squared equals c squared is just to now use some insert text, right? We use our latex formula roots and fractions, oops, wrong one, go back, we want the x to the a over there, okay, let me clear this, trying again, okay, all right, so we want to have it say a squared plus, and then again, b squared, equals, and then now what I would do, just have the area of C squared pop up. And if you don't like the font size, make that, set that up there. Okay, so no matter how we set this up, we can see that if we add A squared and B squared, what we get is C squared right here. That might be a nice way to do this for your students. Um, and of course, you could add up all sorts of things here. To sh and you can have all kinds of text to show different things and highlight different things based on color. These can color code and match these squares. You can do that really quickly with visual style. 
Let's go like that. And then reset the tool for each one just to quickly match the color. Right? You can I mean you can show all kinds of things here, but this might be a basic way of getting started to enhance your construction. You can even have the areas display in here as well as over here. Thanks.